right, so we're getting ready here today uh, to shoot some Astro. We are uh, going to do the Needle Galaxy. Yeah, it's uh, like middle of April, so uh, the days uh, of Astronomical Night is counted. And I think we have pretty much just a week ahead, and then it's going to be full moon, and then it's going to be too bright in the evenings to do anything, unless we go into like solar and lunar and planetary. Yeah. Seems like there's a few choices there, but it's not really what I'm what I'm usually into. This scope might be good for it. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> so today needle galaxy yeah i've been trying it a few nights it's very it looks very nice uh side on galaxy with some contrast in it um it's fairly easy to find uh especially if you do use plate solving um but um i've been trying it for a few nights and clouds has uh, pretty much ruined the show so uh i have good hopes for tonight if the wind comes down this is too windy let's see that little thing they're floppering about yeah that's too windy uh but it's supposed to be coming down so hopefully it's okay um yeah um that's that's it yeah uh, <coughs> yeah so uh the thing here then well it's a loose mount um mark three i'm shooting with my mono camera uh, with the filter wheel i got my um evil guy guide scope with the uh, asi uh, uh, 120 uh, with a bar of lens on it so uh, the effective focal length here is about 500 millimeter or something close to that uh, and uh, yeah the thing also then is like I'm trying to line this up with uh, the main scope so I'm just getting a star centered in the main imager and then I'm trying to get the same star centered in this Imager, yeah, and it's uh, quite crucial because if they're not lined up very well, even though the guiding looks absolutely spot on, like I've been having guiding in a few nights where I had like uh, less than one arc second in total, yeah, it looked amazing. But I could see the images; uh, it was like it was moving through the through the image along during the night. And it was it had like star trails, uh, you know, how it, the, the basically how the image was drifting through the through the main imagery, and that is basically because there was too big difference between these two. That was before I used the barrel, and I hadn't properly lined them up. So even though I do my best effort to line them up, the image will still drift a little bit. Yeah. <sighs> yes. Yeah. Uh, so right now I'm just trying to find uh, the Needle Galaxy here using, uh, since I don't have a go-to system here yet, I'm just using a dumb plate solving method where I basically just take an image, then I go into astrometry.net database, um, I you upload an image that I just took. That image. There you go. <coughs> so my previous image I was about here, so I saw I wasn't too far off the Neo Galaxy. And the journey to that point went as we can see down here in the corner. Yeah, got a little bit too far at times, then we went past it. So we'll see what we end up here now. So <clears throat> it's processing. Let's see where it comes up for us to be. It doesn't take very long for it. Okay. There we go. Where are we? Okay, so we just passed the Needle Galaxy, went a little bit too far. So I'm just going to uh, go back a smudge. So I'm going to go just a turn to the east and just a turn down. Let's see how that went. So 
<clears throat> I'm using my guide view just to see that we are settled in. We're not just yet. There we go. There we go. Brilliant. So now we can set the speed for slow motion. And I'm just going to see exactly how we're framed. So I'm going to do my old trick. I'm going to go for 10 second exposure. I'm going to add that. And now <clears throat> I'm going to basically start this exposure. I'm going to move for one second west, two seconds north, and one, two, four, four seconds east. Now we're going to see how the stars look. Okay, so this leg is west, that leg is north, and this leg is east. So I got my <coughs> uh, galaxy there. I want it to be over here. So I'm going to need to go north and west. Yeah, I'm looking at this was about four seconds ish, maybe oh, a little bit. Brilliant. All right, so I'm going to do my guide calibration here. So, uh, blue, green, red, blue, green, red. Excellent. What's the guiding doing? Not too bad. Yeah, declination is working around doing something. Let's ignore that. So, this will take us, that will be one hour, two hours. Yeah, I don't think we can get much more than that. So there we go. Um, that's nice. We've got some galaxies there, there. Yeah, and but it's still not perfect, and I'm still not certain that we have a very good uh, lineup between the two. I've tried, but that means if it's not perfect, then uh, this main image uh, is going to travel a bit. What have we got left up? Here we go, another one. Ah, it's a tiny, tiny travel. That's okay. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to let this be. It's going to be about 3 o'clock when this is done. It's going to be too bright then, and I'm supposed that there's going to be lots of players ruining the show well before then. So, that's it. Okay, so we are shooting the Needle Galaxy here tonight. Uh, this is like the second night here. Uh, I hope it's going to... It looks very nice here on the guiding. Yeah. Uh, so, we'll see how that goes. Uh, oh. Yeah, very nice. For me, anyway. Uh, so, we are shooting... Uh, well, yesterday I did a whole bunch of... Uh, two minute exposures in all three colors today i'm doing another set of 10 two minute exposures and then i'm going down to five minute so here's our first one coming in here in red looks good yeah pretty good happy with that yeah so um so that's it good night right so we have just finished very short surprise evening on the Needle Galaxy. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't supposed to happen, but it did anyway. Yeah, that's all good. Uh, so, and it wasn't very good either. It was overcast, but we did uh, try to test the guiding with the uh, Barlow blends uh, and in conjunction with this, and it worked pretty well actually. Yeah, uh, despite the, the, the clouds and all that, um, and the full moon. Anyway, uh, <coughs> since the clouds came in, I'm just going to cut the evening short here and just carry everything inside. Um, so I can sleep in tomorrow morning. Yeah, that's what I like to do when I can.
until next time whenever that may be I'm sure we're going to look at some other things here during the summer yeah? but maybe some planetary stuff not accustomed to that yeah not my strongest side really but anyway might as well you know so till then may the dark side be with you